हेलो ट्रेडर्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट एंड मार्केट इज गोइंग ऑन द डाउन साइड एंड दिस इज व्हाट आई हैव बीन सेइंग फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम नॉट सेइंग फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एट लीस्ट फॉर मे बी थ्री और फोर ट्रेडिंग सेशन आई हैव बीन सेइंग मार्केट्स आर गोइंग टू कम डाउन एंड दिस इज माई वर्क राइट आई एम जस्ट वॉर्निंग यू इट डजेंट मीन आई एम ऑलवेज नेगेटिव टॉकिंग नेगेटिव और सी आई टेल यू द रियलिटी दिस इज दिस मार्केट इज नॉट एज ईजी एज वॉट यू थिंक वॉट एवर वॉट एवर things you are seeing in social media is not ethical they are just pumping you they are just giving you uh, adrenaline uh, that uh, this market is very easy to make money you go and see if if you check the reality of this market it is very very hard to make money and i am saying the reality and reality is always hard to digest that's what i am trying to say i am not talking anything negative i am talking the fact about this market if you think negative you can just unsubscribe this channel there is no need for you to subscribe this channel right why do you think so many people are behind me you think i cannot see i cannot come and tell unethical things i cannot tell ke market will keep on going on the higher side and it is not going to go on the higher side that is what i am trying to say if you think you i am talking negative it's up to you you can leave who is stopping you right you have to understand this this is the reality of the market making money in the stock market is one of the hardest things in the world and if i tell you the truth you think i am talking negative this is the mindset of a amateur trader this is a mindset of a new guy who comes into the market thinking every thing is easy but it is opposite here everything is very hard to uh, hard here you make money you if you are going to be consistently making money you will have to think so much you will have to work hard you will not have a good night sleep in this in this fraternity that's what i am trying to say and people think i am talking negative who told i am talking negative i am talking the reality you you think i am all, all these years i have seen two crashes i have sustained this market for around 10 years that's why i'm trying to tell you the fact i'm not trying to sell you the greed here if you th- if you want to if i'm going to sell the greed if i want to sell the greed i will be somewhere else instead of 27k subscribers i will be having 270000 subscribers right so i am telling the reality if you are thinking i'm talking negative you are free to go it is up to you nobody is going to stop i have never told in single video you go and see my all my video till now i have up- loaded 589 videos in not a single video i have told please subscribe this channel never ever i have told that is because it is up to you whether you want to subscribe or you want to leave this channel is purely up to you right anyway we'll talk about the market as expected markets are coming down now what is happening in terms of bank nifty is there is a huge fight in 44000 now i have been telling this in today's morning video also i told 44000 is going to be a very very strong support and that is exactly what is happening and if you see the chart it is evident for the last two days it's been fighting bulls and bears are fighting for 44000 now whether we are going to break this for whether the bulls will be able to sustain above 44000 or bears uh, uh, or the bears will uh, bring it down below 44000 is the main question here with that we don't know we'll have to wait and see how the us markets open now as of now as i talk to you us markets are all kind of flat it is in the red and it is going to it is continued to be it is going to be in the red till this uh, us inflation uh, rate and uh, core inflation rate is going to come and this data is due on 13th which is going to be wednesday monday tuesday wednesday another two more trading session then we will see the trend now why everyone not only we even the us market is waiting for this data not only us market even european market is waiting for this important data to come out so once that data is uh, come going to come out then we will know what direction the market is going to go whether we are going to touch all time high or whether we are going to retrace to 18000 levels is a is the thing which we will have to wait till maybe june 30th right and in terms of uh, bank nifty uh, nifty i uh, never thought this uh, <laughs> this uh, 18000 600 levels will be uh, taken out but uh, bears were so strong they were able to close below 18600 18600 uh, is a very very strong support which i told in 
today morning video also so you will have to be we'll have to wait carefully and we'll have to see how things pan out in terms of us market whether they are going to uh, we are, whether we are going to have a positive data or whether we are going to have a negative data is uh, really a million dollar question we'll have to wait and we'll have to uh, act upon or market will af, uh, act upon that right so still that you will have to wait uh, that is the main question here main thing here there is no other news or there is no any positive or negative momentum uh, 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 negative momentum in the market right you will have to wait for this data to come right uh, let me check the us futures how it is uh, trading i'm sure it might be trading in the green uh, sorry it might be trading flat yeah as i told you it is almost flat uh, dow jones s p nasdaq everything is almost flat europe is uh, down by half a percent almost half a percent and even uh, other markets are green so every market is green in the means they are expecting for this uh, us inflation data to be out and once that is out we will see the market direction till that market will move here and there and in terms of uh, FIA DA data uh, DA is half bought around 1245 crores and FIA is half bought for around uh, sold for around 308 crores right and when you see at the open interest level now what do you think is going to happen nothing is going to happen market is not going to go below 44,000 or even it is not going to touch bank nifty is not going to even touch 43,500 that is for sure 100% sure and if you ask me why that is what is happening every day they bring the market on the downside and everybody will short you retailers we retailers will come and short the market immediately they will take take it on the higher side seeing market going on the higher side everybody will go long they will short the market bring it down and this is what is happening now in terms of uh, open interest what we see is we are seeing huge number of uh, puts being written at which uh, 44,000 that's why I told in today's morning you write a 44,000 short straddle you collect 500 rupees premium your lower break even is going to be how much 43,500 and upper break even is going to be 44,500 that is what is going to happen and in fact we have taken these trades uh, 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 a significantly huge quantity 44,000 straddle so I am sure at least by this week market is not either going to go uh, below 43,000 bank nifty is not going to go below 43,500 and on the higher side it is not going to go above 44,500 and that is what smart money is doing they have been writing huge number of calls and put and if you see here 43,000 is having highest number of put 43,500 is having highest number of put 44,500 is having highest number of calls so you can understand that people are writing straddles and they are buying the hedges on the both side and when it comes to nifty if you see there a huge number of calls are being returned and i am sure this call writers will have to run for cover i am sure nifty or bank nifty is not going to go on the downside we are not uh, maybe we will not even see uh, 18500 or below 18500 if i am right monday morning we might gap up little maybe 100 or 50 points is what is my perspective about the market i still believe the market is going to consolidate at least till uh, june 13th and there is not going to be any big uh, gap up or gap down unless until there is any bad news in the market right so markets are going to be kind of a choppy and it is going to be uh, moving sideways consolidating till this event is done then after that we may see correct market direction right and uh, let me tell you even if the market is coming down this FIIs are not ready to give up and they will come and keep on pumping the market on the higher side that is what is going to happen they are not going to allow the market to fall to an extent or uh, to an extent uh, um, uh, maybe they will not allow it to uh, um, be a crash a crashing market now people are talking europe is in recession uh, us is going towards a recession nothing is going to happen is what i have or that is what is my perspective so i hope i have summarized everything i'll see you in at another video till then take care bye